Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jennifer Gianni here, and my beautiful friend Amelia is with us back on the foam barrel. So in the previous video, we did the tractioning of the leg, the little jiggling of the leg, um, talking to the femur inside the pelvis, and then we talked to that jiggling, very, very gentle, of the pelvis around the femur head. So affecting uh, similar places, but in a little bit of a different way. Um, and really trying to affect the space and the mobility around the pelvis, especially with the soft tissue. So now we're gonna be taking the arm, and this is to initiate and affect shoulder girdle, rib cage down the spine into the connections in the pelvis and in the femur, um, again, to create more space, uh, more good mobility, um, and what I'd like to say, like onlineness for the pelvis. So I'm gonna, she's, her job is just to relax, and I'm gonna support her arm, and I'm just gonna move it back and forth to kind of feel where is the angle of ease that I need, and I'm just gonna do a little gentle pulling, and I'm gonna watch Amelia, <laughs> she's, she has an amazing uh, body, so she is a great ideal model for this, but please don't expect every pregnant woman to, um, to have this kind of onlineness in their body. So as I just do this really gentle tug of her arm bone, I'm seeing a gentle jiggle through her head all the way down into her leg. So that, that's really the ideal that we wanna see. So I'm finding sort of the angle of ease here. And then I'm gonna take the sleeve of her upper arm and I'm gonna twist it just very gently down to the barrel and give her another little tug and then I'm gonna let go, and then I'm gonna twist that sleeve of her humerus in an opposite direction, give her a little tug. I'm just gonna go back and forth like that. And her job, again, is just to surrender into that barrel. And you can see what the spiraling of the arm is doing. It's rotating her ribs and her chest down to the barrel, and it's taking her belly and the angle of the belly button forward and down to the barrel. That's actually a really nice thing. I'm giving her that little bit of a jiggle. In a moment, I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna get my baby doll. I'm gonna have her stay in the same position and I'm gonna show you why this is really a really nice beneficial position for the mom. Now, during pregnancy, this is great, right? Because we wanna kind of again, talk to the whole body. Not that we're deciding like, oh, we're definitely using this in labor. We, we don't know that, right? But let's say that she has a um, stall at nine centimeters in her cervix. Maybe not on the barrel, <laughs> but on a flat surface to find this sort of position might help um, the baby further tuck mold and release, for instance. All right, I'm gonna have her rest her arm, and then I'm gonna come behind her. And so, you know, ideally what we're looking for is this, um, this occiput anterior position of the baby. And with her rolling forward and the belly button angling down, the baby is getting a, more of a message to chin tuck and to flex so that it will be able and prepared to make its way um, through the, the birth canal. So this again, simple positioning, but very, very effective, great for pregnancy, but also during labor. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.